Dream Diary Season 2 is just like a continuation of like work I've been doing. Season 2 introduces this particular character who embodies like this generation. He's a continued to presenter. So when you step in the second room, those videos that you see is related to him doing his work basically. And the main video presentation is uh, like an account of him approaching a fictional like genetics research company called Simonia Systems who have like a covert agenda in collecting people's genetic information. I'm excited about a lot of people contributing towards local culture. The store is called RHTC Playground Store. It's been around for four years, started online, but now we've got a physical space with Playground. Playground is a separate company that does furniture. Everything we have in the store are local brands. It's just us pretty much working together to give local brands market share in this area which is very vibrant. And this is us finding a way to benefit from that and creating an environment whereby local streetwear brands can be street uniform. I'm currently working towards the Chubeka Fair. I have a solo show coming up there. I will be having my own stand, which on the show I'm going to have video installation, sculpture. Probably I'll bring the performance to bring more vibe to the Chubeka Fair. A masked reality is a show that is an awareness of our greatness and people who like things that are not their culture. Those that are so-called representative of the masses that are saying they are in pretext of protecting the people but while they are benefiting for themselves. So that's the show is all about. We are at the Levi 501 launch in Santini City. We don't match, like plan to match. It just happened. Well, we thought Liva, we thought denim, and we were just like denim and white. That's cool. So I put together a white shirt, some jeans, and shoes. The exhibition is titled Plastic Crumbs. It's really just a journey of self-discovery. I looked at this from a sexual point of view, about how as females we are more monitored when it comes to our sexuality and how we choose to present ourselves. So it was very important for me to go against those things and to, to really talk about those issues, you know. So in the exhibition, I use a bunch of symbols, for example, the balloons represent different sexual partners, because I also talk about promiscuity and how I view it as a choice and not lack of morals.